Well, hello again, folks. I'm back. Not by popular demand, I'm sure. That last video didn't get much traction whatsoever. But uh, I've got some more things to say. I figure I may as well say them to you, whoever you are. <laughs> Wherever you are. Uh, I was going to do this video outside from an unenclosed location because I'm wider than that stuff in your corner of your great grandpa's mouth. You know, I need a little sunshine, but it's hot out there. We ain't had no rain, ain't a cloud to give me no shade. It's just crunchy when you walk outside, you know. My grass is dead. Uh, I ain't watering it. So uh, here I am, I'm gonna sit inside underneath this ceiling fan so that you don't see me sweat through my shirt while I'm talking. So uh, what I was thinking about today was all you people who lament the days that we had prayer in school. You think that we should have prayer in school and uh, you're sorry that we don't. You think this country was better when we did, you know? And uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I think <clears throat> you're hearkening back to the days that maybe a homeroom class, or, you know, teacher led the class in prayer, you know? And yeah, that, that doesn't happen as often as it used to. Even when I was in school, that hardly happened. We said the Pledge of Allegiance. And, you know, someone would come over the PA system in a football game or an assembly and pray for them football players that they wouldn't get hurt out there chasing that funny-looking pumpkin across that cow pasture. And if you get that joke... Uh, you should subscribe to my channel. But anyway, on a serious note, while I wasn't led in prayer in school on a daily basis ever, I never went to a school that did not have prayer. And I know that because I prayed in school every day. <laughs> Especially on them days I had a test that I hadn't studied for. Sometimes we get one of them old thunderstorms roll through. It'd make me nervous. And boy, I'd pray about that too because, you know, I didn't want to get blown away there at the junior high. We had some pretty tough storms come through here from time to time. Still do. And anyway, uh, but there was prayer in the school, you know. And I think that uh, as long as you're teaching your children to pray and how to pray and why to pray, then there will always be prayer in your children's school, you know? And people talk about peer pressure and stuff, you know, and usually you talk about peer pressure, it's about, oh, well, little Johnny uh, sneak a beer uh, behind the schoolhouse or a smoke behind the schoolhouse because his buddies are and they're putting peer pressure on him. Well, how about will little Johnny encourage his friends to pray because he prays? That's also peer pressure, right? It's a, it's a positive form. So uh, if you just happen to name your kid little Johnny, then teach him to pray and uh, teach him to put that kind of peer pressure on his peers. And there'll be more people praying in little Johnny's school. But... I think you better be careful this day and age hoping that a teacher leads a prayer because uh, you don't know who they are. It's not like you get to choose which teacher leads the prayer at your child's school. You know, may maybe you go to church with one of them and you, and you know, well, that's a good Christian woman or that's a good Christian man. And you know, maybe he's a deacon at the church and a math teacher over there at the junior high and you're like, wow. I wish old uh, Mr. Whatnot would lead the prayer every morning at school. That'd be all right. I mean, you, you you know him to be a good Christian man, and he knows what a good biblical prayer is, and the reasons for praying, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's great, but it's not how it's going to work out, you know. 
because we can't discriminate. So what you wind up with is, uh, oh, who knows, you know, leading to prayer. And who knows who they're praying to, you know. Maybe they're praying to the fruit fly on the pile of potato skins in the kitchen sink, you know. Maybe all they're praying for is they hope there's a cell on the tape that keeps their wiener tape to their thigh down over there at the target. You don't know who is leading the prayer. You don't know who they're praying to. And I know that was a silly example, but hey, if you're a Christian family, do you really want uh, someone who uh, attends the, the Church of Satan to lead the prayer in your class because they're not going to be allowed to discriminate. Do you really want, if you're a Christian person, do you really want uh, someone that uh, worships Allah to put your kid on the floor on a rug and face him east and have him bow down and say those prayers? You, no, you don't. But you can't discriminate. So you can't tell them that they can't lead the prayer. So what you got to do is teach your children to pray. Read your Bible. A good place to start. If you don't know anything about praying or anything like that, and you want to, well, start reading that Bible. And then start getting yourself out of the house on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings and Sunday evenings and going to churches. And you look for that church that says what that book says and prays in a manner that that book teaches you to pray. All right? And then uh, then you can teach your children to pray. And it's, it's your responsibility. It really is. And then you'll have prayer in your child's school. It's just that simple. You want a school with prayer in it? Have a house with prayer in it. Have a child who wants to pray. Have a child who will not be told that he cannot or she cannot pray. Have a child that knows that Jesus Christ is there. Jesus Christ loves that child and listens when that child speaks out loud or silently. So that's the answer to your prayers in school. Have prayer in your children. They'll take it to school. Just like anything else you say to them, they'll say it at the schoolhouse too. You know that's true. That's why you got to tell them when you say something about their, uh, you know, the, 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 the fat lady that teaches them math in the third grade, you got to tell them, now don't you repeat anything you hear in this house. Because you know they take it to school. And they'll take that prayer to school too. They'll take it all. And uh, anyway, this video probably got too long because I said everything I had to say like four different ways, three and a half different times. I just want to say God bless you all. Read your Bibles. Pray with your children. Pray with yourself. Pray where you work. Pray where you go to school. Pray where you drive. It's important. It's real important. Jesus Christ himself prayed. And he is God. That's how important prayer is. So I'm going to get off here. Before I do, I have to uh, remember not to neglect telling you to like and subscribe. Like that matters. The message is the same no matter how many buttons you push on that screen. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you, God, for your son, Jesus Christ. You all have a great night.